Hi, David Rollman here. Today I have five ideas for you that use alternate picking, purely alternate picking, but they're organized in a way that every single string is gonna start with the same direction of the pick. So that's gonna help you speed things up. These licks work well at slow tempos, but also at fast tempos. They're gonna have a melodic feel to them, but there is a sequence behind each of these licks which you need to understand. If you understand the sequence, the logic behind these licks, you're gonna be able to recycle these wherever you want as long as you're using a three note per string pattern. We're gonna use a name Mixolydian vamp here. You can get the backing track for free and the tabs. I will leave the links below. I'm gonna play these licks with 16th notes first, which is four notes per beat, and then I'll speed it up to six notes per beat so that you can hear how they sound. And uh, let's get started. <laughs> The first lick is as follow. We are an A mixolydian, three note per string. Once you know the logic behind the sequence, you can repeat that across the full diagram. But uh, for here, we're gonna start on the low E string. We're gonna have fret seven, five, seven, nine. And on the next string, we have frets five, nine. That's six notes, and that's the logic of the sequence. It works in sixes. That doesn't mean that you need to play this lick exclusively with six notes per beat. You can change the feel to it, maybe four notes per beat, 16th notes, 32nd notes per beat, which is eight notes per beat, or 16th triplets. You, you do whatever you want, but that's the logic here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And because every each of the, the strings involved have an even number of notes. So the first one we have four notes, one, two, three, four, and the next one we have two, one, two. That means that our pick direction is always gonna start the same way. If it is an odd number of notes, then we reverse the direction. But because it's even, it's in the same direction. So if I start with a down stroke and I do just alternate picking, I'll have down, up, down, up, down, up. And then when I'm ready to start over, I can start with a downstroke and that keeps things consistent and it's way easier because of the pick slant thing that we have. Um, I'll refer to a video at the end here if you wanna go a little further. But that makes it really easy. And once you have these six notes, you just repeat it from the note you landed on, which is the fifth string. Here it is all together really slow. We're in A makes a Lydian. And you see that each uh, string starts with a downstroke, and that's the, the reason why it's so easy to play at faster speed. The second lick is a variation of the first one. It's a little bit longer. This time we're gonna start on the low E string again, same exact thing here. We have fret seven, five, seven, nine. On the next string, we have frets five, nine, and back to seven and five. And then we're gonna repeat the, the whole sequence. So the logic behind this one works in eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight notes. Again, we have an even number of notes on each string. One, two, three, four. And on the next string, one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna repeat the sequence on the fifth string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very similar to the first one. Again, alternate picking everything. If you start with a down movement, um, that means that every string is gonna start with a down movement because we're working with even number of notes on each string. The logic behind the sequence of lick number three is based on eight notes. We have four notes on one string and four on the next. Let's start on the low E string. We have frets five, seven, nine, and seven. Moving on to the fifth string, and because we started with a downstroke, that means that we're also gonna start with a downstroke with the fifth string. We have down, up, down, up, and then we're ready to go down on the next string. 
And then on the next string, we have frets five, nine, seven, and five. So all together, that's the sequence. And then we're gonna repeat that on the fifth string. And so forth. And everything remains alternate picked. And if you do that, you'll see that every string starts with a down movement if you did start the down movement. Lick number four is based on a four note pattern. Very, very simple. So four notes means an even number of notes on each string, which means that every string is gonna start with the same direction of your pick. And we're gonna start with the down movement here. So in Amex Elidian, we have frets five, seven, nine, and back to seven. And that's four notes. And then we're gonna repeat the same exact logic on the fifth string, and the fourth, the third, the second, and the first. And that's our lick. Finally, the logic behind lick number five is based on a six, four idea. So a group of six notes followed by a group of four notes. And we're gonna play that with whatever feel you want. We can try that with 16th notes, 16th triplets, it doesn't matter. But the way we're gonna organize the, the idea is like that, six notes on one string and four on the next. So we're still in Amix Elidian on the low E string. We're gonna reverse the direction, so we're gonna descend the scale. So that means that we're gonna have frets nine, seven, five, that's three notes, followed by seven, nine, and seven. So we have our six notes here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're gonna change strings. And on the next string, we'll have frets five, seven, nine, and seven. So all together, we've got the group of six notes and the group of four notes. And then we'll repeat that on the fifth string. and so forth. If you wanna get the tabs for these licks, you can do that for free. I have the tabs in Guitar Pro format and PDF and also the backing track. All you need to do is visit the link below, enter a valid email so that it can send you those licks. And also, if you wanna go further with the alternate picking technique, something that really has helped me is Troy Grady's Cracking the Code. There's a link right here. Just click it, watch all those videos. They're gonna do incredible things for your technique. They they kind of trigger some new thoughts and they really have helped me in my playing and they still do. They're awesome. You should definitely check them out. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video around. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you very soon. Until then, practice well.